in April 2021, Hitachi Limited made the decision to divest uh, their shares in Hitachi Metals, from which an exhausted search through private equity globally um, resulted in Bain Capital acquiring our majority shares. Uh, through the transition, we've started to work very closely with Bain Capital Investments and looking at what growth opportunities from our different divisions our companies and where we can really propel within growth once the acquisition is completed. We're projecting to be finalized in our acquisition in early 2023 and uh, excited to work with our new ownership. Where we're at now is a fun point of our growth evolution. We're taking a company that has been stable and solid and structurally sound for the last 25 years and turning it upside down with growth strategies, initiatives to propel us into this decade, century, and really listen to what our customers need from us so we can continue on a solid trajectory of growth. Yeah, one of the big changes that we have going on uh, and we've been undergoing for a little over a year now is uh, the creation of cells within our facility. Uh, we've created uh, five, almost six new cells uh, to improve product flow and get uh, material to our customers in a more timely fashion. Uh, the last year has been uh, riddled with issues, as we all know, and uh, we're trying to improve during this period uh, to help our customers out. In order to support all of this activity, we have to bring on more people uh, during a very difficult time. Uh, we're changing our strategies on how we uh, bring people on board, how we recruit, and how we retain them. Uh, this is one of the most important initiatives that we have right now, is to make sure that we have an environment that people want to come in, they want to join us, but they want to stay here, and they want to, they want to grow a career here. currently going through an entire plant transformation. What does that mean for Hitachi Manchester? We are changing basically everything. We're changing our culture. We're changing the way we go to market. We're changing the flow of our plant. We are doing all this during one of the most difficult periods in time uh, I've seen in industry. Uh, my 40 plus years, I've never seen so many issues come up, uh, mostly related to uh, the world catching COVID and then the subsequent supply chain issues, the people uh, shortages and everything that followed along with that. Uh, the challenges have been many, but uh, the rewards we feel will be tremendous. Hitachi, New Hampshire, has really put forth a effort to invest in people. Uh, we're investing in new departments such as product management, aligning our entire organization to our products, to our customers, to our markets. We've invested in engineering growth with our talent. We've doubled that down with investments within the factory on equipment, on uh, new technologies, a digital transformation, all to better serve the market and our people in the coming five years. New Hampshire is strategically aligning our businesses to understand what the markets will look like down the road versus today uh, in service of our customers. Uh, through that transformation, we're looking ahead at cloud-based software systems, manufacturing software systems, as well as engineering software systems to link our people to our technology. And with that uh, all being executed on in the coming years, we see a very prosperous growth for the New Hampshire business.